So whether you're a Democrat or a Republican, none of us are immune to the onslaught of political messages being sent. Yeah, appropriate this week here. Our first guest says the solution to sorting it all out is critical thinking. In his book, Sex, Politics, Religion, author Steve Siebold says the idea works for just about everything. Steve, thank you for joining us here today. Hey, thanks for having me. That's quite a loaded title there in your book, huh? <laughs> yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's start with that. Tell us more about that. Things you're not <laughs> supposed to talk about at parties and things. Those, those kinds of things. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. you want to specifically talk about how critical thinking applies to all these topics. Explain what you mean by critical thinking. Well, critical thinking basically is looking at things through greater criteria, making decisions through greater, greater criteria devoid of emotion. All of us have probably too much emotion in our decision making. That's the idea. Okay, so in the case of political ads, which we're seeing a ton of this time of year, how would someone apply that? Well, how would they step back enough to say, okay, let mm -hmm. me think about these candidates in a different way. Yeah, this is that politics is the most emotionally charged game sure. there is. I mean, it's just incredible. So I think you have to look through all the emotions, all the different things they try to take off, the little old ladies getting pushed off cliffs and wheelchairs and all this crazy, all this crazy thing. And the crazy thing is, is it works. But if we look at it critically, we can make great decisions, you know. It really does emotion. work. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I know that even um, my, my kids are eight and 10 years old, but they will tell me things that they've seen in political ads and say who they like because of what, well, this commercial said this and that guy is a bad guy because he did this and I think take it up a notch to a lot of grown-ups who aren't applying critical thinking it's working on them too it is, and there's only these things are only partial truths usually, mm -hmm. and they and we don't we don't t use critical thinking analysis and really find out what's going on because we're all busy running around and we're thinking through emotions, so, and they, they and they know that and that's why they do it. Well, and you're right, we are busy running around. Sure. So to 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 look at these subjects and really apply critical thinking to these subjects, you have to do some research. I think so. a lot of people feel like they just don't have time for that or they don't care enough. It is difficult. I think you have to really look at what you care about, and especially this election is so critical to this country, whatever side you're on. I think everyone would agree. So try to turn off your emotions, look at everything through logic and, and facts, and, uh, and make a decision based on that. Interesting. So it's hard to go against what you're used to and maybe what your parents did or how your parents voted, that kind of thing. So, so how, do you, how do you do this? What's the basic first step to start applying this? Well, I think the first thing is just to look at everything in black and white. No emotion, just completely black and white. So, so hard to do. Well, yeah. it, it is hard to do, but if you look at this election, what's great about this one is it's, it's a clear choice. You either want bigger government, a more entitlement-based society, or you want more of a free market economy on the, on the right. So it really it's really clear in this election. The other elections and, and the, the last few elections haven't been quite as clear. How do you suggest people take emotion out of it, though? I make a lot of decisions based on a lot of emotions all the sure. time. You do? I, <laughs> he knows me very well. I do. I do. How do you suggest one takes, removes that? Well, I think to realize, to recognize when you're in an emotional state of mind. We, we, in, in Mental Toughest Training, which is what I do in Critical mm -hmm. Thinking, we say we use logic to steer and emotion to motivate. And so you ask yourself, am I motivating, am I driving myself emotionally uh, through motivation, through emotion, or am I logically steering uh, through my decision-making process? It's really easy to, to tell the difference once you get used to it. Okay. Fascinating. Yeah. Uh, Steve Siebel, the book is called Sex, Politics, Religion. Sex, Politics, Religion. Thank you very much for being here today. Thanks we for having me. It. Yeah. Yeah. All right.